Welcome back, and in today's video, we're gonna be teaching our dogs to walk backwards. This is the second step. I've introduced it in one of my earlier videos in this series, and what we want now is we want our dogs to be able to walk backwards while looking up. So initially, when we teach our dogs to walk backwards, we're taking our hands, we're placing food, we're curling our fingers up so the dogs know that hands closed mean to back away, open hand means to move towards them, and we come down to their chest. So what ends up happening is the dogs bringing their head down as as they're walking backwards and we want our dogs to be looking up as they're walking backwards so I start this with the dog in front after they understand the mechanics of walking backwards so you have to make sure you do the first video where I teach this then what I like to do when I'm starting to get the dog to walk backwards while looking up is I'll show them a picture then I will drop down and I'll get them to take a step back now, the reason why I show this initially is dogs are very good at pattern recognition. Whatever comes first ends up being the signal for the behavior we want the dog to perform. So since I showed the dog this, they see me do this, they're like, oh, okay, that's interesting. And then I drop my hands down and I get them to walk backwards. After doing this a few times, you can show your dog this picture and simply walk towards them and they will often take a step back because they learn the sequence. This is also a really cool way if you ever wanted to teach your dog a new language, let's say. And I've had people ask me that before. They go, I want to teach my dog all the commands that they know in English, but I want to teach it to them in French. What's the easiest way to do that? Simply say the French command before the English command and the dog will learn the pattern. So then when we say the French command, they will perform it before we say the English. So they're, again, they're very good at pattern recognition. And this is how they start to learn things that we're communicating with them. So I'm going to bring out Maverick. Again, I'm gonna demonstrate now, we're already past this, but I'm gonna show you how I would bring my hands up, then how I drop it down, I get him to walk backwards, mark and reward, and then we're gonna to transition to getting him to walk backwards directly in front of us while looking up. You're also going to notice as I'm walking towards him, I will adjust the way that I'm walking dependent on which way his body starts to turn. So your dog, when they back up, more likely than not, they're gonna end up walking back on an angle, one direction or the other. And so if I notice the dog is starting to curve to my right, I will step with my right leg in a way to block that movement. If they start to curve a little bit to the left, I will switch and I will step more with my left leg. So we're doing almost a side step to keep them in the position that we want and eventually your dog will learn how to walk backwards on a straight line without having to use any additional barriers but if you are struggling you can definitely use a wall to help prevent your dog from curving to the side and then as they get better we can increase the speed now we're not going to go too fast with Maverick today because he's still pretty young and not fully coordinated he has that puppy kind of lacking of coordination, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna bring him out and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So now we have Maverick out. Remember, we show them the picture. We bring it down, we get him to walk backwards, yes. And then we're gonna reward. We get him to walk backwards, yes. And then reward. So again, we're gonna reset, show him that picture where we bring our hands up. I'm not rewarding the jumping, but I'm also not correcting it right now. Yes, and then reward, very nice. We're gonna reset. Now on this one, I'm not going to drop my hands down. I'm gonna show him the picture and I'm gonna step in. Yes, so you see he took a step back, so I'm going to reward that. Excellent work, little buddy. Maybe throw a spin in there for fun. Another spin, very nice. Loosen him, loosen him up a little bit. And now let's do another one. So I'm gonna show him this picture, wait till he puts his butt down, now walk in. Very good, free. Mark it with my terminal marker so he jumps towards me to get the reward. If you want your dog to back up but to stay close to you, then again, we wanna think about patterns. So this is reward placement. Depending on where we reward our dogs is often going to depend on their final position for the exercise that we're doing. So if I want him to stay closer as we get him to back up, I'm going to reward him through my legs. So it'll look like this. I show him the picture, walk towards him, free and then I'm just gonna reward him through my legs very good so now if he's thinking about the reward going through my legs he's gonna to want to stay closer and we'll do a couple of those as well so again I'm gonna show him that picture and start walking good boy free and then drop it between my legs and give him the reward very nice buddy excellent very good and let's do another one we enjoy training don't we buddy all right, here we go. And once they start to understand it, you can start to fade that hand out. You can even put it behind your back. Good, free. 
Very nice, excellent work. And as I start to notice my dog getting more coordinated with this movement, I can start increasing the speed. And if your dog enjoys it, they're gonna be willing to try harder for each time that they do an exercise because it is fun. Like I said, we need to look at dog training like a sport. And I want my dog to enjoy the sport of dog training. So as they get better, we can increase that speed. Now what does sometimes happen with puppies you might notice if you're doing this exercise with your puppy, as you walk into them, they might sit back. So this is very common. Well, we'll let's see if I can get them to put his butt down. As we start bringing it back over their head, they lift up and they'll fall back kind of like that. Once they start to understand that they can't do that and they need to shift their butt back, you won't have that issue. So if that happens in the beginning, don't worry about it. It's part of the learning process for our puppies. So again, work at this, have fun, and we'll see you guys next time.